hello welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna do an updated video on how you can install the sims on an external hard drive or if you want to move your mods folder to an external hard drive so before we start this video i want to do a little disclaimer like in my last video please 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 do not skip this part and listen carefully because i'm going to give you some important information and if you comment on my video something that i have answered in the video i will not reply because there's just too many comments so the first thing is i'm simply following the steps that i have found on the ww and i just wanted to create a visual for people i personally done these steps multiple times and i've never encountered any issues and if i did i simply deleted everything and started over again so if you have any issues unfortunately i will not be able to help you so everything that i talk about in this video today will be linked or put in the description as well as in the pin comment okay so I'm gonna start the video I will put some timestamps if you guys want to skip one or two steps so that's for the people who don't want to install the whole game on their hard drive only the mods file I will leave the timestamps where you need to go for that but for the rest i need you to watch the whole video at least one time if not two times before doing anything okay so let's go so step number one like i said in my last video is to back up all of your information and what i mean by that is save everything that is important to you in the game so your mods and your save file and your tray file as well if you have like some builds that you want to keep into a different location and i will show you right now so here you have my electronic arts folder and as you can see i've already created another folder for my backup which is backup number one and i'm gonna do a second backup on one of my hard drives i have two hard drives so as you can see here on the side i have grace and grace backup so i will link these hard drives in the description if you guys want to have a look i'm using a send disk that is one terabyte and then the second one is a seagate that is two terabyte i will put the game and the mods on the seagate and then the backup is the send disk Okay, so I'm gonna go into the electronic arts folder, the Sims. I'm gonna copy this and then paste it in my backup as well as on the hard drive. So I have almost 10 gigabyte of CC and mods. So I completely started over um this is not what i used to have before so there might be more in the future and then i don't have anything in tray so i'm not gonna do that but like i said if you have some builds that you want to keep you can also copy and paste that so i have a few saves that i want so i'm just gonna copy Once you're done with backing up all of your content, what we're going to do now is reformat our hard drive. So what you're going to do is go here on the top right corner with this little magnifying glass and you're going to search for disk utility click on enter so if you don't see your external drives what you can do is click on this little drop down menu 
view and you put show all devices. So what I'm going to do here is click on this one. And then I'm going to go into Erase. I'm going to rename it Sims 4. This is very important. Um, do not put a name with spaces. We need to change the format of our hard drive to APFS. As you can see here, we don't have the APFS format. So what you're gonna do is go into Scheme and you're gonna choose Guide Part... Guide? Yeah, I think it's Guide. Guide Partition Map. And then go back to Format and then here it will appear. So you just choose the first one, APFS. Once you're done with everything, you click on Erase. This should take a couple of minutes, not even, depending on what you have on that hard drive. Mine is completely empty, so it should only take like one or two minutes. Our hard drive has been erased, so you can click on Done, and then you can click out of the disk utility. For those who want to have the game on the external hard drive, you're going to do this step. For the others, you can skip to the timestamp that I will leave on the screen. So you're going to go into your system setting. We're going to delete the game. I personally don't know if you can move. So what I do is just I delete everything and then I reinstall everything. So make sure you block time um, if you want to do all of that. Um, okay, so we're going to go into general storage. Actually, I forgot to delete the packs. So I'm just going to show you. You click on documents show in finder applications and here move to trash empty yes Normally, that should have deleted the game and the packs as well. So I'm just going to restart Origin. You're going to click into Application Settings. And then you're going to go into Installs and Saves. And you're going to change the game library location. So as you can see, I've chosen uh, my external hard drive, which is called The Sims 4. Once that's done, you can download your game. So now let's download again our game. For some reason, it's not showing me the download button. So I'm just going to click on this. Accept. And here again, it puts you the location. As you can see, it's my hard drive automatically. But if you haven't changed the pathway, you could also just change it at this time. Next. Okay, so this is going to take a while. So I'll see once the download is over. Okay, so once your game is finally loaded, just before we move our mods file into our hard drive, we need to um, tweak some settings. So this is for the people who deleted the game and put it back. 
So you go into your options, game options, other, and then just make sure that script mods are allowed and the custom content is enabled as well. Just gonna check if it has picked up on my mod content. Yes, it did. Okay. Perfect. So we're gonna exit the game. Now we're gonna do the step that most people have the most hurdle is move your electronic arts folder into your hard drive. And so I want to preface this once more. I'm only following steps that I have found on the blog post. The link is in the description. If you have any issues, if there's anything that goes wrong during that process for you, there's no need to comment on my video because I won't be able to help you. I didn't come up with all of this, but you can check out the website. I mean, the blog post um, because there is like an FAQ and like common mistakes or common questions in the steps if you have any errors. So I would highly, highly recommend also having a look at this blog post if you have any issues. But anyways, what you're gonna do is copy and paste the comments that I've left in the description box. And uh, you're gonna go back to this magnifying glass and you're gonna search for terminal. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is move our electronic arts folder. So as you can see here, there's this little USB. You're gonna change that and put the name of your hard drive. So for me, it's Sims 4 and that's it. You don't do anything else. You simply copy and then you paste into terminal and then press enter. Hey, future me here editing. So I came a few hurdles while I was filming this video and I'm just gonna quickly tell you what happened and then we're gonna move on. <laughs> so number one, if you are someone that decided to delete their whole game and reinstall it, you need to make sure that you also delete the electronic arts folder from your documents because otherwise it is gonna it's gonna be an issue once you do this terminal command. Okay? So number one, if you delete the whole game, make sure you delete the electronic cards folder as well. Launch the game once so that all of you, all of it comes back and then do the terminal command. Okay. The second thing where I had an issue and where the second command wasn't working is because I simply needed to update my computer so always make sure that your computer is up to date because that as well will cause issues with those two commands and so now let's get back to the video so when you move the electronic arts folder to your hard drive it is supposed to disappear from your documents so now I'm going to create a sim link. So it's the same thing. You have the word USB here and you simply need to change for the name of your hard drive. So remember, if you see that something is wrong, like your electronic arts folder is not moving, like it's copying, but it's not moving and your terminal is not like this, something is wrong. And the first thing that I recommend checking is if your computer is updated. So anyway, so let me copy and paste, enter. And now let's check. Perfect, it worked. So here, as you can see, now we have done everything properly. Our mods folder, our electronic arts folder is in our 
hard drive so now when you download mods and cc's you need to download them directly into your hard drive before launching origin make sure that your usb key or your hard drive is properly plugged in otherwise it's going to mess up everything and you're just going to have issues when you will want to go in game and as you can see if i click right and get info because some people were also asking me if it was taking space in the computer because the folder was still there. It's not. As you can see, there's like nothing. It's empty. All the volume is in your hard drive. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is uh, yeah, get all my saves. Hang on. So Sims 4. Oops, cancel. So I'm just gonna copy this times. But it's very important every time you do this, you copy and paste the newest resource file. Now I'm just gonna. and paste <clears throat> okay so I did log into my game but I completely forgot to screen record and I'm really trying to finish this video I'm just gonna show you how to reverse all of that which I didn't do during my last video so if for whatever reason you decide that you don't want to have everything in your hard drive anymore we can reverse the sim link when it comes to the packs if you want the game to be on your computer and not on your hard drive anymore you need to change the pathway like i showed you in origin and re-download the game again so yeah it's a little bit annoying but that's it is what it is but for the sim link so again everything will be in the description i also found out that um there was an update on the blog post and there's now a discord server if you have any issues uh during this whole process you can contact the person that created all of that basically so again everything will be linked in the description but we're gonna copy and paste this first command perfect and then here once again we're going to change the name into Sims 4, copy and paste, oh that didn't take I believe, let me see, oh no it did, it did work, okay perfect, so our electronic arts folder is back where it was, and this one you can delete it move to trash there we go and you can also delete the one that is in your hard drive so I'm gonna start the game one last time just to make sure that everything is all right recording stopped while the game was uploading but everything is in order everything is working perfectly i hope this was helpful i tried to cover as many questions as i possibly could and that i could remember from my last video if there's anything you guys want me to explain any videos um, any video ideas that you guys have feel free to leave them in the comments and if you find this helpful please give it a like subscribe to my channel i'm only gonna post twice a month here um long form video maybe short form video so yeah 
I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one.